A core functionality of any modern web application is keeping track of our users between web requests. We could add a unique identifier to every URL, but this makes our URLs hard to generate, hard to read, and hard to share. Thankfully, every modern browser supports cookies to keep track of our users between requests. In this video, we'll discuss how to use cookies in our PHP applications. Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. What is a cookie? A cookie is a small file, at most four kilobytes, that allows us as developers to store information on our users' computers. This information will be sent back to our web server whenever the user makes a request. A cookie is generally used to keep track of information, such as a unique identifier of the person requesting the resource, so we can build the page specifically tailored for them. It's very important that we don't store sensitive data in cookies, since it could be potentially manipulated by a malicious user. To store sensitive data securely, we should use sessions instead. We'll discuss sessions in our next video. Cookies are transmitted back to the server in its headers. HTTPS will encrypt it, but HTTP won't. Cookies in PHP. PHP has built-in support for cookies all the way back to version 4.0. It does this with several helper functions and a global variable. We must set our cookies before we start outputting the HTML of our page. This is because cookies are set in the header section of the HTTP request. PHP's header function has the same limitation. Writing cookie data. PHP's cookie support is essentially a key value store. We use the set cookie function to accomplish this. There are an annoyingly large number of optional parameters, and all of the options except for the name are optional. The most important ones are the name, which is what we're calling the cookie, and the value, which is what the value is. We can also set the expires parameter, which allows us to say how long the client computer should keep the cookie. Zero is the default, which means it's valid until the browser is closed. Otherwise, we'll send a Unix timestamp for when the cookie expires. For example, we might want to keep the cookie for 30 days. Path. This is where the cookie is valid on the domain. As an example of that, we might have one domain supporting multiple applications. There might be a finance application in the finance directory and the sales application in the sales directory. We can use this parameter to allow us to say this cookie is only valid in the finance directory or only valid in the sales directory. The next parameter is the domain, which allows us to set the domain that the cookie is valid for. For example, you can set it to test, which will allow for test.com and all of its subdomains, or we can set it to finance.test.com, and so it will work for finance.test.com, but it won't work for test.com, and it won't work for sales.test.com. The last two parameters are the secure and HTTP only parameters. This allows us to tell whether the cookie should be sent only over HTTPS or only over HTTP connections. By default, it's sent over both. Reading cookie data. In order to read cookie data, we use the cookie global variable. It's an associative array where the key is the name that we used in set cookie. And because it's already an array, we can use the PHP array functions that we're so used to using. For example, the is set function. To modify a cookie, we just call set cookie again on the same name. Deleting cookie values. To delete a cookie, use the set cookie function with an expiration date in the past. The downsides. So there, there are some downsides to cookies. The first is that they're not always secure, and they can be tampered with. A user could put data in there that we don't really want, and then they could send it to our server. We're also limited to four kilobytes, which might seem like a lot, but it does have its limitations. And we have to transmit the whole cookie with every request, which can add up. What you need to know. Cookies allow us to store information on a user's computer. They are at most four kilobytes large. PHP 4.0 and greater have supported cookies with the set cookie and the cookie global variable. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure that you subscribe, comment, and like as it does help others find us. Do you want to help support the channel? Find us on Patreon. We would love it and we'll include your name in our list of supporters in each video. Are you using cookies? How is it going? Let us know in the comments. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.